thousand years, and he will still be revenged in Revelation twenty. He's already predicted. He's gonna go by Revelation twenty verse seven to ten. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter twelve that the word of God is very powerful and sharper and sees everything all knowing. God is all knowing and sees everything that happened in the earth. When you go to court, only people who are rich can win cases in most cases because they hire very high profile lawyers and they can cheat. The lawyers can change water to wine. They can change a blue cloth to look like yellow because they have know how to argue. The court is the court language how to argue. But the cost of heaven, there is, there is nothing like lawyer. The God uses a palate your heart. He know, he know who did wrong, and he know who is on the wrong. There are many cases taken in court, and you see, after fifty years, the truth come out. Oh, it happened. The child was eaten by a dico. It happened. This was the right one. A man, I saw a, a, a movie somewhere where somebody cheated and he married a fake woman, and the woman faked herself. He's pregnant and he chased the right the right woman. He chased the right woman away, and after many many years, he found the truth, and he ran as fast as he could to his wife. It is an acted movie, but it happened. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews, chapter 12. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12 to 13. For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any edge double sword. It penetrates even to the dividing soul and spirit, joint and marrow. It judges the thought and the attitude of the heart. God does not go by what somebody is trying to show. The pastor, the neighbor, the family, the government, the court. God does not go by that. God judges, the Bible says, it penetrates. Hebrews 4.12 For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to the dividing of soul and spirit. Joint and marrow. Marrow is that thing that is inside the bone that some people like eating it. In the middle of the bone, it go in the inside and penetrate to the bone inside. It judges the thought and the attitude of the heart. God judges why were you doing what you are doing? What were your thought? You talk very nice. The Bible says in the, uh, Revelation 13 11, in the last days, Antichrist will look like this. There will be many Antichrists. They very look like a sheep, but their action is demonic. What you get after? Somebody come and marry you look very nice, but after 20 years, you saw it was a beast and you ran away. Jesus saw false teachers and false prophets, same John the Revelator, saw two horn but speaking like a dragon, two horn like a lamb but speak like a dragon. Jesus saw a leopard wearing sheep clothes to hide, to camouflage. Even lion live in grassland to camouflage. When you see lion, it matches with the grassland so it can catch an intro. Certain will masquerade in the church. For certain to get Christian, he has to come to the church and pretend he is Christ. You cannot win unless you, you, you try to use what the fall, the fall snare, the snare, the trap of a fall must be put in a way it attract the faller to the snare. For Christian to go to the snare of the devil, the devil will send a false messiah who look like exact copy of Jesus. And to make sure he look like Jesus, he will have power to ask power from heaven to bring fire. He will do miracle that show his Christ. And you say no other God. He will bring he, he, whatever he can do, he can bring fire from heaven. The Bible says. I don't know how he's gonna do that. And Israel. Will he believe he is God? But the Bible says those who know they are God will resist. Those who have the spirit of God will know it's not God. Because he will talk like a God. The Bible says king who exalt himself. 
Daniel chapter 11, he exalts himself in the level of God. He take, what do you mean? He take the seat of God and talk like a God. And he want to lead everything. And decide for you everything. And more so, in worship, more important is worship. So the word of God penetrated even to the dividing of thought and attitude unto the heart. Nothing in all creation is hidden before God. Everything is uncovered and bare before the eyes of him whom we must give account. You may go away in the world, but not in the heaven. The rich man went away, but he was caught in the heaven gate. He was torturing Lazaro and making him eat clamp on the door with a full dog, but he was caught on the egg gate. If men change protocol of God, God decision and judgment prevail. When men use under the power of certain wisdom to feel vulnerable, it is the will of God that prevail against the will of men. When it, King Darius power broker used their wisdom to feel Daniel, God went for Daniel to frustrate their wisdom because God go where there is, where there is taking advantage. When you take advantage of someone, God, 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 the Bible says he will save the mass, he, the, he will have mercy of his own people. It is the mercy. This is why if you play, use muscles and wisdom your own to cheat, God will save those who are praying and praying genuinely. Whereas Hannah was crying secretively, anguishing and shedding tears like blood, Hannah was, Penina was rejoicing and enjoying and very happy because he had a breast womb, he had a children. God went to, to breast Hannah and left Penina because he was boasting. The Bible says God sees the proud and go to the, those who are weak. Those who are crying. King Abimelech and people said him, they changed the protocol of God. God destroyed them. King Naboth took the land of a poor man and his wife. God revenged. They put Daniel in the lion's dens. God saved Daniel and those people are destroyed by God. Some two men abuse a man of God and enjoying and very happy, God sent beasts to eat the two boys. They tortured Jesus on the cross and were rejoicing. God resurrected Jesus and frustrated their effort and frustrated even they were saying, Priests, Try the, 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 the governors were trying to find what can we cheat? Because Jesus had already resurrected and they had put security. And God bypassed security and resurrected Jesus. So they had put, they were trying to go cheat. But they could not cheat because Jesus already was preaching on the street. They were so ashamed. But they had said, This is deception. And this deception of Jesus that he will resurrect is worse than the coming one. It's not worse like the coming. The, the, they were bringing their Christian. The, this deception is the coming deception will be worse than this one of Jesus. Say he will resurrect and build the city. But he was God. He was their God and he, he defrusted God, he defrusted their wisdom because they were trying to take the protocol against the protocol of God to put their own will against the will of God. When the will of man is being put in place of God, God take over. Whenever we, uh, poor people are downtrodden, God go for the weak. So we need to walk with the wisdom of God and pray God to help us to do the right thing. In the last days, people will change the protocol of God and start betraying each other. The Bible says in Luke 21, they will sell their brother and sister to the enemy and hand you over to be persecuted. The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 3, they will hand over the people and betray them and, and, and fail them. 
Second Timothy chapter 2, your brother and sister, your wife, your brother, they will fear you. Luke 21, they will fear you. Matthew 24, they will fear you. Your own people. But God will go for those who are being feared. That's why the Bible says, Act 14.22, we be prepared to enter heaven through cry and shedding tear because we have no praise in this world. We are ambassador of Christ. Ambassador, we are represent, ambassador represent another country. We represent another kingdom. Jesus said, who is in us is stronger than the king of the world who is the devil. The devil is in the world and is the leader of the world irrigary. Christian, they don't belong to the world. And when you don't believe that way, you're going to fall. Because if you join the camp that is leading the world, pretending they are God and they are the leaders, you will fall. Because Jesus said, the one in you, that means we don't belong to this world. The one in us is stronger than the one in the world. The one is in the world is not for us, it's against us. The one ruling the world is against Christian. Because Christian are Christ ambassadors. Christian represent another kingdom. Christian represent a kingdom. They don't belong to this kingdom. If you believe you belong to this kingdom, you fall. Jesus said, you'll be hated by all because of me. Matthew 24, Matthew Luke 21, verse 18. Luke 21, verse 18. You'll be hated by all because of me. But Jesus said, but none of your hair will go to the enemy. And he said, if you stand with me, you will win. It is automatic. To get a PhD, you have to cry. To graduate, you have to cry. You have to pain. There is no citizen of heaven for coach leavers. There is no citizen of heaven for those who sleep from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. There is no PhD of heaven for those who sleep from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Monday to Friday. Those who are going to enter the kingdom, it is through prayer and fasting. The Bible says, since the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God is always attacked by the enemy. The devil does not sleep for Christian. And a Christian must not sleep. The Bible says, always be alert, praying every day. Take vigil. Spend overnight praying. The devil does not sleep. So if a Christian sleep, the devil will win. Because the devil does not sleep for us. Even as we must pray, so the spirit of God can take against him. Taking the matter and law of God in your own hand will make God revenge. The Bible says in Hebrews 4 verse 29, Hebrews 12 verse 29, Hebrews 12 verse 29, God is a consuming fire. These last days we need to do the right thing for to live, drive safely. Many people are fearing each other. Many people want to fear each other, but remember God is a consuming fire. You say in Hebrews chapter 2, 12 verse 25 to 29, he will dispense his justice and he will shake not only heaven, earth, but heaven to know who will remain. To know the remnant, a salvage, the fire must be there. And the fire will test everyone. Are you a gold or a wood or a silver? God put a fire in, the, in, in Isaac's house, I think. I think Isaac was the husband of Penina and Hannah, he put fire and closed the womb of Hannah to test Penina. And Penina came out like a wood. He was not a gold. Instead of praying, he decided to take a mockery seat. The God put fire in the king Darius and elevated Daniel to be the smartest of all. To test those power broker, but they came like wood. They fell jealous. And they said, Daniel, God put fire on Samson and Delia to give Samson unsurmountable power. He was killing thousand and thousand army of God enemy. But his wife fell jealous. And so did his husband. Everyone will be put to fire. So we need to become out like gold by doing the will of God. Do the right thing and God will bless you. Doing the right thing. But breaking the law of God. 
God will take over. Fearing the weak people, God will take over. Fearing people that you are wise, you don't know how wise I am, God will destroy your, your wisdom and frustrate you. Using your, that you got money quickly and you start abusing those who are not blessed with money, God will bring you down. God bring down the haughty people and proud people. The fact that you have lies to ladder, Jesus said, take the raw seat. If you have nothing, feel that you have. Titus 2, don't let one look down on you because you don't have. Feel that you are because how certain fairy people is like this. If you have money and you have very big post, he make you feel proud, so you fall. Jesus had the power of divinity. You wanted to use that fairy Jesus. If you go do this, okay, if you have no money, if you have no job, if you have no one thing to meet your need, the devil frustrated by mocking you, people see your weakness because you say an empty hand is not touched by anybody. Nobody cares about empty hand. So people mock you and see you are useless and they, they want to make a decision for you because you have no job. God said, if you don't have, feel that you have. Titus, don't let one look down on you. Why? Because Satan carry hopeless people. Satan carry people who are mental. Satan carry the last caucus. Lion always follow the runner. If you separate yourself in line of depression, Satan will carry you. If you separate yourself by feeling your worthless, Satan will carry you. If you separate yourself in the line of feeling hopeless, Satan will carry you. Satan will carry hopeless. But those who feel they are useless, they cannot do anything. You will never get a job. You feel and you 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 feel you are hopeless. That's why God say, if you don't have seed that you have, behave like a turkey, but you're not. Behave like a lion, but you're not. Because Satan will carry you through frustration. If you are rich, feel you don't have because Satan will carry you with the prideness. Because he you know I fell because of pride. Satan fell because of pride. I can lead worship in heaven. I will be God. He fell. And you tell God, if you God, so to fear Jesus, certain failures, when we are so blessed, he won't fear us with body. If you want to believe even a pastor who become a nation commander, commanding the whole nation, pastor, they say, I will stand for president. They fall. Because God said, you know, human fail, as they rise to rather, the spirituality go down. That's why God said, if you have money and breast, if you go to those rich nations with milk and honey, that were told to Caleb and Joshua and those people, in those, if you, you go to a lot of milk and honey, come with milk and honey. Remember me. Because God knew people will change. It's hard for a rich man to enter heaven. It's as hard as going through the needle hole. God wants humble people. God despises the power but gives grace to the humble. He is near to the broken hearted and those who are already in spirit. When you are going hardship, Satan you want to carry you by mocking with your people, with your wife, with your brothers. Don't see like Jesus who was mocked so much by people. When he was finishing his PhD, is the time Satan was wanted to carry him by mocking. You said you build the city in three days and destroy it. Do it now. You said you are the king of the Jews. Why don't you save yourself? You are the God. Why don't you save yourself and save those people with you there? Certain mockers, when we are going through hard time, Paul was mocked by a devil worshiper when he was doing great ministry work. Jesus mocked when he was graduating. When you are graduating, the devil will steal your marriage child to mock you, to annoy you so you don't cross to the border. The Bible says we go and pray more and do the God work. The Bible says in Daniel chapter 12, verse 3, those who know God will do great things. A certain try to steal many. Those who know their God will keep preaching, 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 and preaching and praying and fasting. The more certain come, they will do more great things. But certain want to carry us. But we need to know the skill to win the enemy is to follow the word of God. If you are blessed, feel you do not bless. If you do not bless, feel that you are blessed because Satan will carry you with hopelessness. He will bring people to mock you. Take your family, take your children because you don't have a job. But you feel you are the owner of the house because you are the devil. Satan carry the house caucus. 
the hopeless, the one that isolates itself in line of thought, goes by its own. It is by going by God's word that you can win. We need to obey God. By obeying God, we are safe. Following the right protocol. We don't break the will of God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Redeemer, for your glory and your might. Help us, Jesus, to obey your protocols and your will. We don't take the will of God at our own hand. And doing the will of God, doing our will against the will of God, in the name of Jesus. Father, help us to walk according to your will, according to your promises, so we can start secure in today's world and the days to come. That we follow what you have stipulated in your book. Whenever there is darkness, we consult the light, which is your word of God. We may walk with the word of God. When we are blessed, we don't use our blessed position to abuse our blessings. We don't use our position to change the will of God. We don't use where we are standing and abuse it. But we do the will of God. So you may bless us. You don't kill us like you kill Abimelech. And Daniel worked with And those, we don't change what God you have stipulated. Because whenever you say, people change your will and put their own will, you take over. And you judge them severely, Father. Let your word be, Father, that we commit our work to you. That we can succeed, Father, because you say in the book of Proverbs 16, verse 1 to 3, that many times we plan without involving you, but you will give the last decision. Proverbs 16, verse 1 to 3, to man belong to the plan of the heart, but from the Lord come the reply of the time. To all men's ways seem innocent to him, but motive away by God. Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and your plan will succeed. God help us tonight and the days to come to make our plan of the heart and our mind to be directed by you, because at the end, the answer will come from you. Daniel Workmate, they use the plan without involving you, and you destroy them. People of Sechem, they plan the leadership way against your will and you did shame them. Help us God to put our plan to you that they may succeed. Because we say, and a rich person in the Bible said, I have a lot of food to eat the next five years. I'm going to put in the store and eat and he, and he didn't involve you and he said, you'll die tonight. Many times we say bye, see you in the evening but we don't say if God's will, then you die. Or we don't know what will happen. And maybe car broke you, you in a long way and you don't come home. What we plan does not always go the way we plan. You know we will not reach B, but according to ourselves, we think we reach there, Father. Help us to walk knowing that it's by putting you first because we don't know what will happen next. A building is destroyed, the whole building, by right strike. And somebody was expecting that the next day to attend a very big meeting and he died in a ranch strike. Somebody do wedding and die on the way to honeymoon. Somebody is on the way to go and give a lecture in a conference. He's the main speaker and he died on the way. Jesus, we don't know what happened next and most time we boast by our own thought, not knowing what before, before what is ahead of us. Lapture will come sudden. When you are planning evil and rapture happen and the coming of Jesus, Father, help us to walk according to your will and promises so that we may be ready like ever ready batteries, Father. That we may commit our way to you that when you come and when we do things, Father, may be in line of your word in the name of Jesus. Mother, to say that year, help us to walk according to your will, Father. We don't take your will and force our will, Father, so that God, you may weigh your motive when you see his light. You bless us. The Bible says in the book of James, whenever we pray to use what you are praying for in an evil way, you frustrate us. We may pray to use it in the right way, Father. Even when we are planning business with the people, marriages, we plan to live for companionship, not to fail other people, Father, in the name of Jesus. 
Help us, God, to walk according to your plan. To, we commit our plan to you so we may, we may succeed, Father, because always the answer comes from you in the name of Jesus. Open the eyes of our heart, Father, that we may see your will, that we may dedicate everything we do to you in the name of Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus, for your holy humility. Be glorified. Be exalted, be magnified, Redeemer, for your whole and your mighty. In the name of Jesus. Asante mana mungu na stahiri. Katika jina la Yesu Christo. You are worthy, you are holy. Hallowed be thy holy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on other seas heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from every faces of evil. For thy is the kingdom, honor and authority. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Jesus, for your holy mighty. Be glorified, be exalted, be magnified, redeemed. Babuna stay for Babuna. One day, Jesus will come back and will come for us, Father. We pray that God, we may walk according to our promises. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Jesus, for your holy, your mighty. Glorious be thy holy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. I need the Father for me.
I'll see Jesus one day in heaven. There will be no more tears. You wipe my tears. You wipe my tears. Tears, Jesus, my God. You wipe my tears. You wipe my tears. You wipe every tear in my life, Jesus. I'll cry no more. I'll cry no more. I'll be happy, happy when Jesus comes. I'll never cry, never more.